Hello everyone, welcome to this video series. So second uh, video we are going to see on validating empty input field using JavaScript. So what students will be able to understand at the end of this particular video? Students will be able to write a JavaScript code for validating empty input field. So what I'm uh, trying to uh, do in this particular video uh, part is uh, I'm trying to take one empty uh, input field and uh, when you click on a button or uh, just I'm trying to validate it whether it is empty or not. I should come with a pop-up saying that, okay, this particular field is empty. Before that, uh, going to this particular uh, program directly, I want to tell something about uh, DOM that we call it as document object model, okay? So what, what document object model is used? It is a JavaScript part, okay, which is used for dynamic purpose. Dynamically updating your website, we use a document object model. So when HTML, uh, is loaded in the browser, it becomes a document. So what I'm, uh, as I said in the previous video that it is based, JavaScript is based on object oriented uh, concept, right? So this particular document, when it gets loaded on a browser, it will behave as an object, fine? So element that represents the HTML document. This is an element that, that root element, which is going to represent as an HTML document, okay? This will be referred as an object. So again, JavaScript is having properties and methods. So this document object model, your uh, language, your program, your file is going to have properties and methods. So by the help of document object, we can add dynamic content to our uh, web page. So same JavaScript can be used to update your web page. How uh, in the previous video, we have seen uh, a button click. When we click on a button, a pop-up was coming. Same kind of program. Uh, with some improvements, we will try to do it, okay? Now, before uh, going with actual program, I want to tell you something about document.getElementById. Now, why this function is used? Document.getElementId, so in your HT in HTML form, there are a lot of attributes, like let's say we have buttons, we have text fields, we have labels, okay? We have picture boxes, we have uh, images, like that. All these attributes or elements can be referred with the help of this particular function get element by ID. Every element that you are going to put on HTML is having a certain ID. Okay, let's say a button is there. When you when you are writing a button onto your HTML page, this particular button is having certain ID. Okay. Uh, like that uh, text field is also having certain ID. That particular ID is referred by this get element id now in this case you can see input type text now this particular text box is will be referred using an id text box one okay now let's say in this in this particular part when a user clicks on a button i want that text box value to be fetched and displayed so whatever text box value a user will type in text box will be called when i click on a button so when i click on a button you can see here on click a function is getting called function one so where is this function one inside add section inside script part so inside add section inside script part there is a function function one this particular function will be called okay here document dot get element by id is calling text box one dot value so what is there in text box one text box one is having whatever user is going to type in this case we assume that is typing some numbers if he's typing a number, that particular number will be stored in variable number, okay? After that, an alert with number showing number into number, I'm just trying to find a square of a number over here. This will be popped up on the screen, okay? If you want, uh, we can take a demo of this particular uh, part and just try to copy this section and same uh, in notepad will try to do it demo dot uh, this will try to open it with notepad do we have notepad here yes okay now inside notepad i'm trying to open it so inside add section uh, your uh, this part will come script part will come so i'll i'll try to put it here complete program whatever we are going to copy from here okay the script part is co will come here I'm just copying it, then I can take this form part into body section so that I, I can clearly differentiate between it. So this is how the program will look like. This is script part in, in add section. 
okay and in body section we have the html form okay we'll try to load it fine it looks fine to me okay this is how it will look like let's say i enter 25 and when you click here the answer is 625 this is how uh, you can make your uh, web pages uh, dynamic and interactive okay i hope uh, this part is very clear now my next task is when a user put this as blank instead of writing anything over here by mistake suppose he, he fails to in in uh, in most of the forms we see that people forget to uh, put some values in uh, some text fields when it is required when some text fields are compulsory let's say a mobile number is compulsory in that case people don't give mobile number and they directly try to submit the form in that case uh, the form should not get submitted and it should tell the user that you have forgot to write your uh, mobile number so such kind of program we can do using javascript so when i click here nothing is happening it is just continuing with the actual thing but what i want here is when i click over here it should give me a message saying that you have to put a value in this particular text field okay for that let us take one example now uh, before continuing i would like to uh, uh, you to answer this particular question which method of javascript is used to access html attributes you can pause here and try to answer it the answer is document dot get element by id okay now variables in javascript in variables in javascript uh, as i said you can take certain variables let's say uh, here i have taken the variable as f name okay and also i am trying to find the empty input field in case of my javascript okay so let let us try to uh, i'll copy this particular uh, section and put it in my html uh, document okay okay i'll just give some proper indentation to it to this particular section and also i'll explain you uh, don't worry it looks big but it is will make the things easier script part inside add section and we have this function function 1 okay and what i am doing inside this function we'll go one by one you can write this program on your own or you can just uh, copy it okay this is my script part script part is getting in and then we have our add section and section and inside body i will be creating one form and in this form we have multiple things we have labels we have input buttons we have text boxes okay so overall i have designed a form over here so that to find if a user forgets to write something in the text fields okay i hope this is clear till here okay now fine this is fine now what we are doing in this script part we are having one function called as fun one in fun one what we are doing is document dot get element by id which id f name so where you will look for this f name for this f name you will look into label uh, here particular f name or input type f name here we have id f name okay now get element by id f name will will not refer this will refer this id why because it is going to get element by id so it is going to ch uh, check your id so id is f name over here it it will take this f name fine and dot value whatever user will type in this particular text text box will be taken from this f name and if suppose that particular text box is empty how you will check it that part we will check it if f name this particular variable this f name if it is empty that particular text box is empty by double quotes if it is empty this means it is empty if it is empty then put a message please enter first name i can make it uh, please enter first name and inside form what we are taking we are taking one label first name and one text box for that first name similarly one error message for this label why i am taking this error message so immediately after first name if a user forgets to put first name that should come as a error message this is initially blank 
this is initially blank but at run time when a user clicks on a button it should give me error that this particular error should be called this id should be called how you will call it again same get element by id get element by id dot error one and this error should be updated which is empty it should be updated that time we call it as inner html please enter first name okay input type is text here rest all things are okay i'll put this br uh, instead of here no need f name first name uh, this br will come here okay now this is fine let us try to compile it just reload it okay and i forget to type anything in my first name when you click on this button it will give me a message please enter first name this can be given in red color or any other color also this is achieved with help of inner html so so what is inner html with help of inner html i can change the content of html dynamically at runtime this can be achieved with help of inner html okay you can uh, see this program once again and try to understand it okay uh, if you want it section this is how it will look like this is what we have done okay rest all things this is are all html forms tags nothing to explain over here much the important section is this function how the scripting part is getting called okay fine these are some of the references which i have referred uh, you can go through it thank you